Hello, Binanceians. What are you up to today? Apparently, you'd like to learn how to use the Binance Exchange, and that's what I'm here to show you how to do. Now, I personally really like Binance. I use it almost daily. It's my favorite exchange, and for very good reason. You can see here on Coin Market Cap that it is the number one exchange by volume currently, and I see no reason why that should change. Binance has a great uh, user interface, great user experience. They're making constant improvements and branching out into all different areas of crypto. They have excellent customer service, which is one of my favorite things about them. And as you can see, they have great liquidity as well. So let's head over here. We're at the home page. And you can see here on the home page, we have listings of all the different pairings here, according to whichever main coin you would like to pair them with. And there's two ways to get to the basic exchange from here. You can come up here and click on basic. Or, as you can see, some of these stars are yellow. They're my personally favorite coins, coins that I've owned or coins that I like to track or that I'm looking at purchasing in the future. So you can just click on favorites here and you can find one of your favorite trading pairs and that will take you straight to the Binance Basic Exchange. So I'm going to go through every feature on this page. I'm going to try to make it simple, clear, and quick for you. So in the top right here, we have the trading pair and we have all of our information up here on the top, last traded price, current volume, one general rule of thumb to go by when you're trading if you're planning on getting in and soon thereafter getting out of a position, generally want to have about one to 500 in volume. So as we have 1,600 Bitcoin in volume, you could be uh, trading up to three Bitcoin and because of the liquidity there, you should be able to get in and out of your position pretty easily. Could probably stretch it up to four or even five and not have a lot of problem with that. So let's just work our way through each section here. Here we have the order book. We have the sales here and the buys. This column shows the price and the nifty thing. If you're making an order, you can just click on the price here and it will automatically load into the buy and sell box and then you can come in and edit it. Right here we have the amount in Binance coin and over here on the right column we have the total in Bitcoin. Now check out these toggle boxes. If I want to look through one side of the order book, either the buys or sells, I can click on this toggle here and then it will load all the bids in the order book and I can come and I can scroll through those all the way down here to the last buy order. Okay, so that's pretty nifty if you want to examine the order book. So we'll just go back to the default view here. Here we have a decimals toggle. I personally never use this, but if you wanted to look at orders that only had a certain amount of decimals, you can click on that. And here you can see we only have one bid and one ask at four decimal points. So like I said, I usually never touch that. Okay, so moving over here, we have the chart. Now on the basic exchange, you can see here, we have uh, some moving averages and I can come in here and I can change the input of the moving averages and I can also save this as a default setting if it's something that I'm going to regularly use. But on the basic exchange I am limited in the number of indicators that I can use. I see no option here to choose any indicators. So I have moving averages here, I have volume, I can scroll in and out just scrolling up and down on my mouse or I can slide here if I want to go more macro. I can zoom in and out to different time frames. I can even go to the weekly. So there's my weekly chart if I want to get an idea of the major trend. In Binance Coin we generally have a uptrend here and we're coming down to test the 50 day moving average. We do not yet have a 100 or 200 day. Now this here goes along with the order book, I can click on depth. I can get a visual of the buy orders compared to the sell orders. And I can even slide this to get an idea of what's going on. Here we have a big sell wall. And it looks like right now we have many more sell orders than buy orders. So there's a good chance the price could soon be going down. And we can look right here and we can see recent trade history. And as you can see, it's mostly sell orders happening right here or you can click on yours and you can see your personal recent trade history as well. Up here in the top we have different pairings and you can do a search for whatever pairings that you would like to search for 
and you can view by uh, percentage change. I prefer to look at a weekly percentage change myself, but that's there if you'd like to view that. And then you can view the volume and you can toggle the volume here to see the smallest amount of volume for the day or the largest amount of volume for the day. Okay, and then down here in the lower right hand corner, this is very interesting. If you toggle this, you can view recent market activity here in five minutes. We've had a 4% jump in IOTEX. We've had some, some uh, losers here, and then we have a new 24 hour high. So looking at this can be very interesting if you wanna get a quick glance at the market and you can scroll down through some of those. Okay, and then right here we have our orders and there are videos on how to do limit orders, market orders, and stop limit orders if you would like to view those videos. When you click in here, it's gonna tell you the amount that you have and you can choose the percentage, 100, 50%, 25 or 75, and then right here, it will automatically load for you and you can go ahead and place your order. Okay, so scrolling down, then we have a view of any open orders. Right now, I have an open uh, limit order to sell one chain at this price, and I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that. Now I can click here, if I had more orders, I can cancel them all, or I can view a list of my limit orders and a list of my stop limit orders. So I just click cancel, and then I get a confirmation that the order has been canceled, and I can go in and I can edit it for a different price if I wish. But first I have to go over to the one chain pairing to do that. You can view your 24 hour order history here. As you can see, I had a sell that was canceled. If I click more, it will take me to another page that shows me a more extensive history of all my orders. If I click hide other pairs, this is gonna simply hide any orders that are not with this current pairing that I'm dealing with right here. Okay, last but not least, if you click on this moon here, you can switch over to night mode if you prefer this color scheme. And this, is, uh, this color scheme is a little bit more similar to the advanced look, but there you have it. That is how you use the Binance Basic Exchange. So thanks for watching and happy trading.